Climate change. We thought we had that one solved, didn't we? That's because in 2015, world leaders came together in Paris to make sure we'd never have to worry about it again. I mean, the Paris Agreement doesn't really go far enough though, does it? And we're probably all gonna die. Turns out that preventing catastrophic climate change is complicated. And if we don't limit warming to two degrees, Britain can look forward to extreme flooding in winter, regular heat waves in summer, and millions of people living in areas without enough water. It all sounds very good. If it gets even warmer, the world is facing stronger hurricanes, the destruction of the southeast of the United States, and trashed global food supply. Cities could begin to vanish, and some could become islands. Basically, we get to live out the plot of a movie with 42% on Rotten Tomatoes. Those who survived have adapted to a new world. Even Sharknado got 82%. This is all a worst case scenario, so we can prevent it if we can just muster the political will. That's fine, everyone's still committed to working together to- Thank you, Trump. Am I going to solve one of the world's greatest moral, political and economic challenges in the next 30 seconds? No, you're an idiot. That's fine. I'm fine. Labour claims that it will tackle climate change with policies like banning fracking and investing in renewable energy, while the government argues that it will continue to lead international action on climate change. So it's good to see an existential issue generate such a widespread public debate. Scott, have you got... That doesn't matter! None of that matters! Don't you understand? We're about to hit a critical moment, if we haven't hit it already. So it'll be nice for the next question a journalist asks a politician to be whether they're looking into, I don't know, preventing the destruction of humanity as we know it. <laughs> 